friends today in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to create and edit walls in Revit architecture okay so in order to create Revit uh, walls we have to be in our floor plan okay in the previous tutorial we have created the floor plans ground floor first floor second floor so I'll be in the ground floor I'll select ground floor here after selecting ground floor I will come to my drawing area and I'll select grid line and I'll draw one grid line after drawing grid line now I'll go to the ribbon in the architecture tab and I'll click on the arrow below wall ok so it will give me options wall architectural wall structure and wall by face so I'll select the wall architectural and now in the properties section you can see we have selected a basic wall family with the name generic and 8 inch is the thickness of wall now if you want to edit the properties we have to click on the edit type option which you see here click on the edit type and in the left side what you are seeing is the section drawing of our wall ok we have three layers in there how to edit that layers first we will see this family ok this is the family is basic wall and the type is generic and you can edit the types from this section also but I will click on generic 8 inch only ok now for editing you have to go in the parameters construction and structure click on the edit after clicking on the edit if you see here we have five layers finish one core finish one core boundary structure one and finish two but we can edit only three layers first one third one and fifth one so the first one finish one material is the cement plaster second one is the brick common third one is also cement plaster now or if you see here when I click on the first layer the first layer is highlighted in the section view if I click on the second layer section, uh, second section is highlighted that was your break if I click on the third third layer then it is highlighted now we in the thickness section we can edit thickness also if I give thickness then 6 inch then it will turn into the 6 inch thickness again I will uh, turn it into 2 inches then it's back to the normal form ok now you will get doubt how to create these layers ok so for that reason what we will do I will delete these layers ok for deleting we have to click on that and select delete ok and I will change the layer maybe we will keep the brick common only here ok I will again select the brick common I will click ok here ok now we have to add for adding we have to select here insert two times i will press insert here for two layers okay first one layer i'll keep move up second layer i'll move down okay so for the first layer what i will do i will give name as finish one and for the fifth layer i will give name as the finish two okay now i will select the material for finish one now we are in the material browser i will select here cement plaster and I will click OK. Now I have to add material for the fifth finish to layer. I will again in the material browser select cement plaster. Okay, then I will click OK here. Now we have assigned the materials, but we haven't given the thickness. Now we will give the thickness here. I will write here two inch, and the down also I will write here two inch. Now our layers have been created after creating this levels we have to click ok in the down after clicking ok our wall will be ready here so if you see here we have edited through structure edit that ok got it now click apply and then press ok now come to this property section we have to see some more settings like if you see here in the constraints we have here location line base constraint base offset top constraint ok and the height is showing as unconnected 20 feet so first option we will see as location line what is location line what is the function of location line so for that we have to draw a wall I will select here wall center line and in the architecture type in the architecture tab I have selected wall now I will draw wall so if you see here what the wall center line option is doing the wall which we are drawing on a grid that wall will be divided into half either side of grid line 
Now if I select the face exterior, then the wall will be attached to the grid line with its exterior face attached to the grid line. Okay. Now in the same, if I select here finish face interior, then the interior face of the wall is attached to the grid line. So this is the difference if we change the settings in location line with wall center line of finish face exterior or finish face interior. Now if you see in the modify place wall, modify tool section, we have here a lot of options, line, square, so I will show you what are the differences, line, yes, our square, okay, now this is another option we have, now I will select here circle, okay. I have to give radius for this these are the options which we have seen but now I will delete this one ok I will delete all this wall circle square ok and I will create one wall so that architectural wall select basic wall generate 8 inch now I will draw this wall from base level ground floor to top constraint first floor ok so see here carefully what I am doing how I am doing I have selected base constraint ground floor top constraint first floor now we have to draw I am starting drawing from this point ok now I have to go here till this point I will click on the elevation and if you see here our wall is created from ground floors to first floor now what we have to do we have to see the other settings like what is base offset and what is top offset so I will give some value in the base offset here I will give 6 ok so this value what it performs our wall will be lifted 6 feet above from the ground floor if you see here with the help of dimension now it is 6 meter above ground floor why because we have given 6 feet offset from the base ok now in the top also I will give 6 feet offset so what will happen the wall is moved 6 feet above means it has uh, arranged itself in 6 feet above the first floor ok the next level so this is the settings for the base offset and top offset if I make it 0 again it will come to ground floor here if I make it 0 again it will come to first floor ok now if you want to take your wall below ground floor then we have to give value in minus like see here now I am giving here value in minus 6 so what will happen the wall has come below 6 feet below ground floor ok the so same like for the first floor in the top offset if I give minus 6 then the wall will be drawn 6 feet below the first floor ok now if you don't want to give any height means in the top constraint you don't want to select any floor you just want to give your height so you have to select this option unconnected ok no need of this floor just select this unconnected option and in this unconnected height we have to give our height so first I will base offset I will make 0 then in the unconnected height I will give here 23 or 24 or 25 whatever you want but I am giving your example value 23 now you observe on the drawing area what happened our wall is ready but not with the floor with the height starting from ground floor but with the height ok now this is the procedure for creating a wall ok now we can draw it quickly from just a base model I will select here line ok and I will draw here one line like this, one line like this and make a square then in the middle I will draw one line straight and for this vertical I will draw one line middle ok like two room one hall we have made one simple model so this is your simple 3D model we have created just 2D lines but with the help of heights what we have did we have created a 3D basic model just for the walls not with any doors or windows or anything just we have created walls ok friends so this is the procedure for creating walls and editing walls in Revit but if you still have any doubts you can write us in the comment section we will reply you as soon as possible 
Okay, if you like us, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.